And now on Pet Pals TV, it's our honor, our pleasure to speak with Tom Doc. Tom Doc is the director of communications at Noah's Animals Hospitals, and also he is our investigative Pet Pals TV reporter and certified veterinary journalist. He has lots of slashes, as we like to say. And Tom also has three, count them, three mastiffs. And these three, count them, three mastiffs recently did something bad. Tom, what happened? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I got a, a frantic phone call uh, from the family, from the wife. Um, one of my, my oldest one is on a medication called Rimadyl, generic carprofen. And what this drug is, is it's an anti-inflammatory. It's similar to one of us taking ibuprofen. Okay, so you can kind of feel what the drug is. And so I have a vial for her to keep her when she has her bad arthritis days. Well, I moved the vial one day while cleaning and moved it from a half wall to a desk. And that was enough for one of them, we're assuming Orion, the male, to get up on the desk, grab the pill vial, shatter Ooh. it. And we didn't know how many tablets were left, probably 30 Oh. And so, yeah, it was all in the room. So we don't know if he got all 30, if the three of them split equally, if they played poker with it and, you know, the, he got the big winnings. I don't know. But it was a scary moment, certainly. OK, three dogs, 150 pounds each. They've eaten something. You don't know what it or You don't know what how many of them have swallowed what? What do you do now? How do you get it out? Does it go this way or does it go the other way? What did you what did you well, do? I, you know, and that's such a great question, Patty, because you should talk with an, a veterinarian, whether it's your veterinarian or an emergency veterinarian. In this case, vomiting was indicated. So we made them vomit, looking for indications. Unfortunately, it probably been a little bit longer. Uh, but there are some medications and certainly some other things around the house that we don't want them to vomit. So don't make the assumption about making your pet vomit. Call your veterinarian and get directions from them. And then after the vomiting happened, we took them to the hospital for assessment. We did blood work on all three of them, looking for you know the parameters, the symptoms, the problems that we might have. Right, and as I said earlier, carprofen is very similar to ibuprofen. And so a lot of times people will think, well, I'll just give this to my pet or I'll give aspirin. And it's not a good idea, uh, certainly not unless your veterinarian has directed you to, and they're not gonna direct you to give ibuprofen. I can tell you that much. Right. Um, and never give them concurrently. Like even if you have a doggy medication like this carprofen, never put aspirin on top of it. Never put ibuprofen on top of it either. That's gonna cause, it's a good way to cause GI damage, kidney damage, and even liver damage. And, and I got lucky. I got lucky that they probably had some very, very minor GI hemorrhage, but you know, some gastroprotectants like, you know, famotidine, worked wonders and they're all doing great now good good well i think they're very lucky to have you and your family too so uh kiss the pooches for me thank you so much and uh -huh. we'll see you next time on pet pals tv